her name is Dolly Rose, and uh, she started out as a you know young woman with great expectations for her life, and and um, married a wonderful man and was in love, and and that ended very poorly, and had she had to start her life all over again, and. Uh, being the independent thinker that she is, she didn't want to re-enter into the world of plissage. So she started a, um, well, I guess the crass term would be she started a whorehouse. But really it's the same thing as plissage, except for you don't have the illusion of love or romance or some dream that you will become a lady or a countess and be loved and cared for and entitled your whole life. It's not unlike a debutante ball that we still have today. It was where young ladies, in this case young ladies of color, uh, went to a ball and young white men came to the ball to be introduced to these young ladies and uh, basically it was a way for these young ladies to gain property and money and some prestige in order to survive and it was a way to be protected by their white um, paramours I guess uh, but it was very interesting because it was completely condoned in the white society and, and also in the colored society. I mean, you can understand why it's condoned in some ways in the colored society because it's a way to offer uh, monetary gain and a way to offer protection, albeit it's very, very close to prostitution in some ways. Um, but what's interesting is that the white women also condoned it because, and especially their fathers condoned it because they didn't want their young white daughters potentially getting pregnant from these white suitors uh, and so it was very convenient to have some young colored woman um, be the mistress of a young man or even an older man sometimes to uh, keep them busy until it was time for them to get married but the the awful thing about the whole setup there are many awful things about it but one of the truly awful things about it is that there was this sort of hope of love or romance or er and most particularly, there was this kind of dream of aristocracy that maybe you could get the man to marry you and thereby legitimize the union. And maybe you could get the man to send your children to France to be educated. And if you were very lucky, maybe he would be titled, which meant that through the marriage, you too would become titled. So it becomes um, absolutely perverse in that the colored community tries to adopt some of the worst aspects of the European culture. That is the idea of a hierarchy in terms of, of title and, and money and, and that type of prestige. But, it, but you think about it now, you think about a debutante ball now, that's really what those balls serve, is to introduce a young woman to society so that potential suitors can see her in her most favorable light, so that perhaps she can have the wealthiest husband and, uh, you know, be the, the queen of, you know, the town. <laughs>